Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at Weavy. Weavy is a new image generator, video generator, 3D generator. It's a really powerful tool with a really large interface, but it's really easy to use. I'm gonna go from text prompt to image to 3D render, get them into After Effects and out as a video in under five minutes. Let's jump right into it. Weavy is a platform with a bunch of different tools inside of it. It's got image generators, it's got video generators, it's even got 3D generators. It's a node-based interface. If you've seen node-based interfaces before and been scared off like Comfy UI, trust me, it's not that scary. You can figure this out on day one. I'm gonna zoom back in here, I'm gonna pull down. I'm panning and dragging. The way we get here is we say, we start in the basics. Let's make a prompt. And I'm just gonna delete this shoe that I have over here. Actually, I'll just get it out of the way. Look at that, I can just hide it. We start with a prompt and I'm gonna copy and paste. Here's my prompt in my prompt box. I say a futuristic Nike basketball shoe, white and orange, matte finish, floating in a white room. And then I'm gonna go into images and I'm gonna grab Flux Fast because all of these come at a price, a credit price. So Flux Pro is seven credits and Imogen is three credits, but Imogen 4 is six credits and Ideogram V3 is 11 credits. So you can blow through those credits really quickly, but I'm just gonna go with Flux Fast because Flux Fast is 0.4 credits, half a credit. So to take this prompt and make it render in this image style, and I could run many of these, actually let's just do a, do for comparison, GPT image one would cost me eight credits. That wouldn't be worth it. Um, let's try something different that I'm not familiar with. Bluma's Photon, two credits, sure. Let's do this for comparison. Um, oh, and Luma Photon will take reference images, style references and character references, but I won't take any of those. I will just take my prompt and run it to two different boxes. So my prompt is connected to Luma Photon and my prompt is connected to Flux Fast. And then the parameters for each image, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pick an aspect ratio. The default is square, but I want this to be 16 by nine. And for Luma Photon, the default is 16 by nine. So I can run these one at a time or run selected. Uh, I don't think I can run both at the same time unless I did shift. That was pretty quick. Let's zoom in. Pretty cool looking shoe. I'm gonna do the same thing with Flux Fast. And I'm gonna say run this model. That was even faster. And I'm gonna say rerun. That's even better because I've got some more contrast. And now I'm gonna to try to turn this image into 3D. So let's zoom out a little bit. So going over here to the cube, I'm looking for different 3D models. I'm gonna grab Trellis because Trellis is only two credits and Meshi because Meshi is only four credits. I'm gonna take this shoe and I'm gonna turn them into 3D. So we'll try Trellis first and we're gonna say run model. And this might take a while. I know that 3D takes a while, so I'm gonna pause. All right, so here we are, we're back in Weavy. The Trellis 3D model on the right, the Meshi 3D model on the left. The Trellis 3D model took like a minute, Meshi took like five minutes. Um, and then right here in the preview pane, I can actually just click and drag and I can see this 3D model. And you can see there's some polygons there. Uh, it imagined the sole. It even imagined the inside of the shoe. And then Meshi, this looks lower fidelity and it got the swoosh wrong. I think it's sort of saying the swoosh goes this way and it, you know, mirrored it on the other side. This looks like a shoe from the 1960s. It looks a little bit more awkward, but I'm not gonna say this is worse. Uh, sometimes you just, it doesn't really look like a basketball shoe, nor does it look like the original model, but I'm gonna give it points for creative liberties. This is still kind of interesting what it produced if you wanted a theatrical effect, but this one was certainly more realistic. I can download both of these and you download them as GLB files. And I've already done that and I've dropped them into After Effects. And you can see if I close my render queue here that I have 
They're, they come in as 3D objects and you can rotate them. Although we can't really see that. Let's look at the finished file, which I have over here in QuickTime Player. So in the space of two minutes to write a prompt in an image, one minute for Trellis and five minutes for Meshi, and then another minute in After Effects, in about five minutes total, let's say, we can produce this with Weavey. This is my first experiment with Weavey. I'm really excited to be using this tool. Check back for more. There'll be more fun stuff in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you in the next one.